engine controls is the throttle controls. You have a forward, neutral and reverse on the right hand side, that's the black lever. Uh, and on the left hand side you have the actual main speed control that throttles the engine up and throttles the engine back down. To go from forward to reverse you have to make sure if, if you've been steaming uh, and you're coming up to the pier or anything like that, you have to throttle back so the engine idles before you can put it into neutral and then before you can uh, flip it into reverse uh, before you can pick your throttle speed back up again. Uh, going on to the control panel for the engine itself, we have the voltmeter, the engine temperature, the oil pressure and the rev counter. Uh, each dial tells us exactly what the engine's going through at what time uh, pressure uh, with the, the load that we're under. Uh, once we, we are towing and stuff like that, there's more pressure on the engine because obviously there's a lot of weight behind the vessel. So you've got to keep an eye on the gauges when you're at sea to make sure there's no sudden changes which has happened in the past. Uh, hence why I've had to use the, a lot of money to fix all the temperature problems. Uh, next we're going on to the GPS. It basically tells us our position. This is hardwired into our chart plotter which I'll talk about in a minute and it's also hardwired into our uh, DSC set that's our radio for emergencies. Without the GPS nowadays with the technology and everything like that the old men used to be able to do it from trigonometry from the points of land but that's no good in a thick fog or uh, lashing rain uh, so we rely heavily on GPS nowadays. Uh, we're going on to the sounder which actually shows you the what's underneath the vessel, how much depth you have and what's the firmness of the ground underneath you. Now for proning we need soft supple ground basically so we try and stay away, well I try and stay away from harder ground but the sounder will give you that definition where you are towing. Uh, going on to the chart plotter next, chart plotter is basically a road map for the sea. It's got all its dangers, it's got its depths, it's actually quite clever nowadays because you can actually get tidal and there's different types just like your uh, Tom Toms and all the rest of it for your cars, it's, there's different types of one and the top line ones can actually give you a 3D model of what's underneath the vessel. So if you're going through canyons and stuff like that, that's the definition you get. Right, the radar is a very important piece of kit, you have to Keep an eye on that tenfold, especially when, uh, like you've seen the last time, uh, video number one with the tanker going past us. The uh, tankers travel at a great speed, and when you're towing, you're only doing two knots. They're traveling at 22 knots plus sometimes. So, to get an early warning, that's what the radar's for. Plus, it's also good to see if it's like uh, thick fog and everything like that, at, uh, which direction is land for which way you can steam without having to use the compass. Next we're going on to the automatic pilot, uh, basically because I'm single handed I need somebody in the wheelhouse to steer the boat when I'm out on deck and this system, it's the bee's knees, basically I can uh, point a direction that I want to go in, press the right buttons and the boat steers itself, obviously I periodically check it at least every 10 minutes and that's when I do a, a wheelhouse run round, I start off with the uh, make sure my direction is right with my automatic pilot, my radar, make sure there's no vessels coming towards me, make sure I'm running on the right roads on the chart plotter and make sure my depth is okay. Um, rudder indicator, that's next to our automatic pilot, that's basically tells me which direction the rudder is in, plain and simple. If it's in the red it's to the port side, if it's in the green it's to the starboard side. Then we've got our old sailor radio, Roll Sailor Radio is basically a lovely old PC kit, but by God, they know how to make stuff back in the day. This is, that's about seven, uh, 1975 that was built, the same age as the boat. This has got 95 channels, I think it's got, uh, but we only use channel 11 and channel 16 for basically listening on. Channel 16 is your most important one for listening for Coast Guard, uh, weather updates, and if there's any navigational warnings. And last of all, we're going on to the DSC set, which is basically the Digital Selective Calling. Now this is a lifesaver. Basically, um, you can, same again, 95 channels, channel 16, you can actually dual watch with this one. So you can listen to channel 11, which is our, our talking channel for uh, the fishermen, 
and you can also listen to Channel 16 at the same time and if uh, Channel 16 is an important thing you can get the messages through it, it cuts off Channel 11 and goes straight to Channel 16 so you're just getting one um, message through but the most important thing is because it's a digital selective thing is if I'm in serious trouble and the boat is going down from under my feet I can press the, the little red distress button for five seconds and it sends out who I am, what position I'm at and what speed I was doing etc so they know exactly where I was the last bit of time I was in trouble before they send out somebody to, to, to keep us, uh, save us. Um, the, the diesel tank is 250 gallon and that can sometimes at the prawn troll last me about between four and five days and it costs between five and six hundred pound to fill up. Uh, for the range I can, it depends on where the prawns are, I can start off from three miles from the, the harbour but I can also go out to 24 miles just off a um, eye mouth. That's the furthest I've ever been and that's the furthest I'll ever go because she's a small boat and everything's at risk when you're working with yourself. 